Hello, my name is Oza Ogene Myro, and my stage name is Myro, which is my real name. And you're welcome to my edition of Next Rated on Hip TV. I started music in um, 2015, uh, got signed and um, started professionally in 2015. But prior to then I've been on the hustle, on the grind, you know, uh, regular talent hunts, trying to get my skills honed and stuff, you know. And I don't sound cliche to see from my, from my mother's womb. <laughs> so let's just leave it at 2015. Music has always been something that I wanted to do since I was a little kid. Uh, growing up, um, I remember uh, listening to a lot of King Sonia Ade in the house because my mom loves me so much. She, she comes with these very big CD plates, you know, those disc plates. And Sonia Ade, you know, uh, Oliver the Coke, all those old guys, you know, way back. So I just, I had something that was just drawing me very close to music. From then, um, in primary school, I remember doing a lot of um, drama, you know, creative art. I was opportune to, to have been tutored creative art by uh, Joker Silva and Lou Jacobs way back in primary school. So there's just been something um, about the arts for me, you know, from home to school, it's just been around me. My music is uh, termed Afropop. I think that is a very wide genre. It accommodates a lot of African musicians, <laughs> Afro African pop, urban. So I think any other thing I'll be doing should uh, comfortably fall under that, under that, that uh, genre. What inspires my kind of music, very cliche, my environment, my, my day to day activities. I think that is the easiest way you can get inspired by your music because you can't fake it. I'm not from like a wealthy, wealthy home. I'm not from like streets, 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 streets. So I can't try to be too street. I'm just from regular middle, middle uh, family, middle income earning family from Nigeria. So uh, my music is always from that environment. You understand, growing up from a regular family, a regular Nigerian family who wants, who wants their child to go to school, be educated, get it normal job, 9 to 5, but I went the other way. So my music is just uh, um, stuff that's around me, my day-to-day -day happenings, basically. Growing up, I listened to a lot of Kingston ID. I think my best, my best line was, I am a you. Oh, Ritchie, yellow, yeah, we, you know, <laughs> even in parts. King Sonia, that line has, has been like, you know, in my head. It means a whole lot, a whole lot to me. You know, the world is waiting, man. They're waiting to hear stuff. I guess I got it right in Yoruba, right? So King Sonia, the, all over the coke, um, seal. Then when Kanye came out, man, Kanye was like the driving force of my entire life. Not just music right now, my lifestyle. Because Kanye for me was just that guy that was, you know, coming from the regular, you know, beat maker. They wanted to be a rapper, then they said no to him and he just forged ahead to do what he was doing. Kanye right now is very he's very big in his music, he's very big in lifestyle, brand, you know, the clothing, Yeezy, very, very big. So I'm um, greatly influenced by Kanye West, P. Diddy. These are guys that they push the boundaries to not just artists, to not just musicians. They came on to become um, business moguls, 
you know, and they came to be very versed in what, what, what they're doing and they are holding me very tight. So, so that's my list. King Sonia Day, Oliver the Coke, uh, Kanye West, P. Diddy, man, those are the guys from you. Trust me, man. Being very, very influenced by Kanye West and PDD. For me, it's it's uh, music, it's business, it's lifestyle. You know, um, first of all, I went to design school. I studied architecture in school. Finished uh, with a 4.47 CGPA. So I was just like 0.03 should have first class. I've been involved with building projects since I was in school. After then, I designed um, the Alobam for Fino which was uh, sponsored by Nidu. Thank you so much for the opportunity, which is undoubtedly the greatest or the biggest merch, artist merchandise right now in Nigeria. If you doubt me, go out to the streets and see the Kalamami and that t-shirt. Um, after that, um, I'm currently working on my own merchandise right now, Audio K, which is becoming you know, very, very street. Um, I do graffiti, yeah, wall sprays and all that. I just uh, finished um, the largest theme park in Sub-Saharan Africa. I just designed the entire the entire place. Um, did graffiti work for for the, for the place. I also did some architecture work there. Did um, the site map for the place. So, for me, man, 24 hours for me is just a whole lot of work. You know, if I'm not recording or performing, then I'm probably might still designing or trying to get you know a design job. You know, like I said, I'm I'm working in the direction of um, of Kanye of Diddy, and um, oh, I almost forgot. We've done like. 5,000 plus t-shirts offline for Audio OK. 4,000 a piece doing mathematics. So to me, I'm taking a whole new direction. You know, this, this thing, I'm taking a whole direction where probably people have not actually seen and um, wanted to take serious. So that's, that's what it's for me right now, man. Music, entrepreneurship, lifestyle, and just pushing the boundaries, you know. My biggest song so far. Where my guys day? Ever boys, ever girls day? Oh, the okay, man. Audio oh, is a blessing to me, man. To me, that song is a testimony. You know, the places I go to and I believe probably don't know me there. And I go with that word and they're just like, oh, you know, the reply. For me, it's um, the testimony, you know, audio case so far changed my life to the next level and I'm trying to take it from that level to the next level. So audio okay, man, so far, man, audio okay. Give it to them like they never seen before. Because uh, where we from, my brother? Talk to Rina, be what's up? Mash up the matter. From glory to glory, we just come up. First off, the Jumoke story, I think I read that song around when, um, Jumoke got discovered by T.Y. Bello. So it's just a little message that says, you have to go out to hawk your bread. If you're gonna stay in your house and believe you'll be, you'll be seen, it's not possible. So you have to go out to hawk your bread like Jumoke did and she got uh, discovered by T.Y. Bello. So you have to hustle and someone will see you. And around the same time, we had a change of governance in Nigeria. And there was lots of um, speculations about, you know, what's gonna be tomorrow and all that. So I also wrote that song to um, inspire Nigerians to have courage in the Nigerian spirit. And I also tapped into what Adekule said. Baba God, do it me not for my Range Rover. <laughs> you know, that line is in that song, God, you okay? Believe me, man, three months on the line, man. I cop the Vogue. <laughs> so for me, man, it's just like, like I told you before, man, I just, I write songs that I am living by. I write what I'm living by. I, it's, it's just, it's, it's the easiest way to write. Do you understand? God, you okay, man, the story goes on. Currently, I have a new song titled Sugar, um, Real Life Story. Boy Miss Girl, she's, pretty, she's beautiful, she's pretty. Um, trying to start to like me too. <laughs> and um, the song has been out, the audio. 
so i'll be shooting the video in a couple of um days uh delayed a little bit because i heard something about don't shoot in nigeria i said don't shoot outside nigeria and i know i'm a very big <laughs> if you don't sack some people where i lose i go do number one all my videos are out in, in, in south africa cape town so there's a little bit of delay to you know make sure that when i shoot if you will play the video <laughs> just kidding shooting video for audio for sugar in a couple of days it's gonna be massive, it's gonna be loud, it's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be pretty. I'm bringing some vibe back, some some vibe waves. They don't they come out, they bring them come back. Just watch out for the video, okay? I don't think I have any. I don't lie to you, man. Cause me, man, I don't know how to take negativity. I don't know how to, I do not take it. If probably, if probably some people act some way to make me embarrassed and I don't take it, I, don't, I just don't know, do you understand? I always know how to just change the situation. I have automatic, I have an automatic lock to negativity. As in automatic. I don't see it. So man, for me man, it's been win, 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 win all the way. Life is too short, come on man. Maximum you live 100 years, is it long? My most memorable performances made them plenty. Like I said, going to places whereby I, I believe I was thinking that they wouldn't know who I was and they just go to the song and if I come into the, the, the stage, probably I'm wearing my audio kitchen like, oh, audio, okay, no Korea. You know? Tonight, tonight, Collaboration. Tonight, tonight, what's the day of day? Chop, Latin, chop, banana. You know, I like, ah, come. So, they listen to this guy, <laughs> you know. So, I have, I have so many. I have so many, you know, performances that you go to places and people are singing your chorus. They're singing your song word for word. The basement gig on the island. I was there and I had fans who were singing my verse. The entire verse of Odd the OK. They were singing that song there. So, there was so much and I get moved a lot of times. I think I did was kind of like I couldn't finish the performance. I was overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed and I just left the stage, man. I just left like, you know, mama. <laughs> Not even so. So man, there's just so much. I know there's more to come. To. Oh, I think Mary is creative. Um, Mary is happy. Mary is a happy guy, man. And Mary is confident. These are three words that describe me. Less is more. Philosophy of life, less is more. I learned that in architecture school. Less is more. That's, that's what drives me, man. For those supporting my music, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And you're not gonna understand though. Thank you guys so much. Thank you girls. We started 2015. No major co-sign. You know, the usual somebody has to bring you bring you and all that. This is just me, new artist, new record label, and what we've achieved in that short time. Come on man. My God. So thank you guys so much for support. And I'm only human. And I'll try, I could just, just try to just you know, live up to your expectations. Thank you guys so much. Oh, 
Jim Walker, only ready, wake God give you butter. Where my guys stay, and my boys and my girls stay. Oh, D, okay. What up, it's your boy Myro, and my handles are at yes, Myro, very simple. Y E S M Y R O, yes, Myro. Follow me. Say you heard me on Next Rated Hip TV, I'll follow you right back. You just watch my edition of Next Rated on Hip TV. Hip TV.